Hey everyone, if you've been wondering how to do a digital infiltration mission, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll talk about the tools of the trade, how to operate them, tips and tricks for getting in and out safely, and how to handle tricky situations. Check the description for links to specific sections in case you need to go back and rewatch a particular portion. And as always, be sure to give a thumbs up if you found this video informative. So what exactly is a digital infiltration mission, you ask? They're actually quite similar to the digital espionage mission. The only difference is instead of getting the data out, you're putting something in place. The primary objective of a digital infiltration mission is to upload a virus or some other software into the target's computer and then get out. Some missions will require you to get out without tripping alarms or killing anyone. Those missions usually pay the most, but can be very difficult. In this mission, while it's not one of my objectives to not trip one of the alarms, I will be doing this one without tripping them. The mission requires you to perform five basic steps to successfully complete the mission. One, locate the upload terminal using a terminal on site. Two, obtain the needed security clearance to enter the area. Three, disable the security alarms. Four, upload the data to the site. And five, escape the area without being detected. For this mission, we will be using the Maverick suit. This is the ideal suit for these missions because we need the profile analyzer and the energy link. But optionally, you will need the arc cutter to get in and out of places in case you can't find a person outside and want to try to sneak in without a clearance. This is especially dangerous to do, but in a pinch, it can save the mission. Now we'll go over some of the key bindings. Pay special attention to the holster weapon key. By default, this is you. In the early parts of the mission, it's safe to let a guard scan you, but in general, you don't want them to scan you if you can avoid it. In most cases, it's simply best to avoid all guard contact if possible. If a guard sees you with a weapon or tool out while walking around, this will draw their attention. If at any time you're asked to put away your weapon, you should do so immediately. In general, it's best practice to simply not have any weapons out at all unless you absolutely need them. Along with sprinting and jumping, the crouch key is very important as this silences your footsteps so you can sneak up on people easier from behind. You'll want to make sure that you also set up the select suit specific tool key, which in this case will be your arc cutter. The select profile analyzer key, we'll use this key to scan targets and to clone their security clearance, and select energy link. This tool is used to incapacitate enemies in a single shot. Note that this is not a stun. This does in fact kill your target. It's also used to recharge your suit in case you run out of power. Zapping targets takes quite a bit of power, so if you don't have an energy pack, you can hook up to a terminal to recharge your suit. You can also use it to overload doors to force them open. This can be especially handy if you can't get a security clearance. The last key of note is the toggle tool mode key. This is crucial for accessing the overload feature on the energy link and the security cloning for your profile analyzer tool. You'll also want to make sure that you know what key your secondary interaction is as you'll need this to upload the virus. Once you're on site, you'll need to find at least a level 1 security guard. You can see their level noted by their name after scanning them from a distance. Sometimes you can find people inside the building patrolling around and you can catch them from outside as your cloning tool works through windows. Just be careful the guy isn't looking out the window at you while you're scanning them. Once you find your target, crouch down and approach the target from behind. Be sure you're aware of your surroundings. If anyone has a line of sight to you and they see you doing this, you will be caught and alarms will be triggered. Activate your profile analyzer by hitting 4 and then hit R to switch to security cloning. Once the reticule turns green, you're in range to clone their security clearance. Hold the primary fire button to scan them. Make note of the cloning profile progress bar above the target. Once it hits 100%, immediately hit your holster weapon key and move away from the target before they turn around and see you. Now that you have the security clearance to enter the base, the next objective is to disable the security alarms. You'll want to make your way to the command building. In this case, we have the level 1 clearance noted on the door, so we can safely enter the command building with our new security clearance. Once inside, your next objective is to locate a level 2 or level 3 person inside the building. In some cases, you can skip straight to level 3, but in some cases you'll only be able to find a level 3 person inside other level 2 areas. I was able to find a level 2 and a level 3 in this situation patrolling outside, but I didn't notice him until after I'd already had to level 2. The important thing is to take your time and not get in a hurry or put yourself into a spot where you could be detected by patrolling guards. Always be aware of where other people are by using the radar to see who is nearby, and when inside the red circle you'll also see which direction they're looking as well with the arrow. 
If people are inside the security area, as in this situation, the best way to get in is to begin charging your overload as you approach the target and be on top of them by the time it reaches 100%. Note the moment you do this inside the secure area, the guards tend to be alerted even though nobody was around. Quickly move to the security terminal and disable it and exit the area fast. Don't panic if there are people inside the area or guards pass by you. If nobody shoots you, you're safe. Once the alarms are safely disabled, you can now push forward to locating your objective. With your level 3 access as well, this makes it especially easy to find anything locked away behind those top secret security clearance doors. Use your map to locate a terminal and go to the terminal panel. In this case, I'm looking for the industrial data port in the processing building. Sometimes there are multiple industrial buildings, so you may have to poke around a bit. Just be sure you know where all the patrols are before you start this, as you may be seen and questioned. Find the industrial production building and then select processing from the list. Scroll down to the far right list until you find the industrial data port labeled with the blue mission globe icon. Select this item and the mission objective will appear on your HUD as well as your compass rose at the top. Next, you'll need to go to the data port. Be especially careful to avoid any guard patrols if you have to go outside. Don't let any of them scan you. Once you arrive at the data port, be sure you look for a guard patrols and any other workers in the area. If you have one that will be in your area, you'll need to take them out quietly. Be sure you zap them in a place that they won't be seen by other patrols. Once you've dealt with any patrols, approach the terminal and use your secondary interaction key. By default, this is F. This will give you the option to upload the virus. At this point, you'll need to stay hidden but nearby for the entire duration of the upload. If you leave the area, you'll lose signal and you'll have to start all over again. But sometimes this is necessary if you miss a patrol and you need to take them out. Once the timer reaches zero, you've uploaded the virus and it's time to make a hasty retreat. Open your action menu and hit Q and select Apex Interstellar. Locate your mission turn in and request a flight there. If you're using interstellar transport, you'll have to start this process as soon as your scan is done since it takes about two minutes for a shuttle to arrive. If you have your own ship, make your way to that ship immediately. Once requested, start making your way to your ship. In this situation, I was caught by a guard. You'll notice that they say, Don't go too far or you'll trip the guard to start shooting at you and once the shooting starts, things can get messy. Instead, the best thing to do is to address it head on. That's a particularly dangerous method to use, but as long as nobody sees you, you can safely walk out without attracting attention. If gunfire starts, be ready to fight your way out and hopefully your ship can take the shots from patrolling ships and drones as well. If you die, it's game over. Once you get to your ship, hit E and select board and get out of dodge. Congratulations, you've just successfully completed your first digital infiltration mission. I hope you found this video helpful. In my next video, we'll talk about how to do sabotage mission. If that is something you want to see, be sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.